kids, welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Hello and welcome to another episode of Wildlife Crystal. I'm your host, Wildlife Crystal, a wildlife specialist. As you know, on this show, Wildlife Crystal, we are going to be learning fun facts about one animal and their environment every episode. I'm here with my very special co-host, the one and only, Kaya the Koala. Hello everyone! Good to see you again. I would like to choose the animal we discuss today. Great, Kaya. Give us some hints and we'll guess. Okay, well I'll give you a hint in the form of a joke. What is black and white and red all over? Everyone at home, try to guess too. I'll give you five seconds. I don't know. It's a zebra! <laughs> Kaya, zebras are black and white. Where does the red come in? Oh, wait, wait. It's a, it's a sunburn zebra. <laughs> okay, Kaya, cute. Although, there's just one problem with the joke. Zebras don't get sunburn. In fact, recent research suggests that zebra's striped coat not only protects them from the sun's UV rays, but the stripes also keep the zebras cooler. Huh. Well, the joke is still cute. I stand by it. And I love the zebra's coat. They are so cool. So why else do zebras have stripes? Well, scientists aren't entirely sure. Their stripes perhaps serve to dazzle and confuse predators and biting insects, and like I said above, control the zebra's body temperature. Although each individual zebra stripes are unique, their stripes may have a social purpose, helping zebras recognize one another. Wait, no two zebras have the same stripe patterns? That's right. No two zebras have the same stripes. Each is individual and unique, like human fingerprints. Not only that, but the pattern of zebra stripes are also different depending on the species. Our planet is home to three different species of zebra. The plain zebra, the gravy zebra, and the mountain zebra. All three species live only in Africa. The most common is the plain zebra, which roams grasslands and woodlands of eastern and southern Africa. The gravy zebra can be found in the dry desert areas of Kenya and Ethiopia. And the mountain zebra lives in the mountainous habitats of Nambia, Angola, and South Africa. What do zebras eat? These cool animals are herbivores, meaning they only eat plants. They spend most of their day eating grass and sometimes leaves, shrubs, twigs, and bark. Are zebras related to the horse? Yep, zebras are closely related to the horse, as well as the donkey. Just like the horse, zebras are social animals and live together in large groups called herds. As they migrate to new feeding grounds, super herds may form, consisting of thousands of zebras. Within the herd, zebras tend to stay together in smaller family groups, made up of one dominant male and several female zebras and their babies. Baby zebras are called fowls. When they are born, the fowls weigh 55 to 88 pounds. That's almost as heavy as a baby hippopotamus. Soon after the baby fowls are born, they're able to stand and walk. Oh, baby fowls are so cute. But I heard zebras are very aggressive. You're right. As peaceful as zebras are normally, they can also be very aggressive animals, too. Male zebras fight for females with strong bites and very powerful kicks that are strong enough to cause serious damage. Oh, wow! Is that also how they protect themselves from predators? Yep. Their fierce fighting skills and strong and loving family bonds help to protect zebras from predators, which include lions, leopards, hyenas, and cheetahs. When under threat, these awesome animals form a semicircle facing the attacker and prepare to strike if they need to. And if one of the group is injured, other zebras will circle around and attempt to drive off the hungry attacker. That is amazing. They always have each other's back. Tell us more fun facts about zebras. Zebras have several ways they communicate with one another, including facial expressions, wide open eyes, and showing their teeth. They also bark, bray, snort, or huff to get their point across. Even the position of their ears can signal their feelings. For example, ears flattened and back means trouble. 
Another cute habit of zebras is mutual grooming, which means they like to clean each other. This strengthens their bond with one another. I love how much zebras love their family and friends. I really hope there are no threats to zebras. Unfortunately, yes. All three species of zebras are on the endangered list. Endangered means this species is at risk of becoming extinct or dying out completely. We, of course, do not want this. Humans are the biggest threat to zebra populations. Hunting and habitat destruction are to blame for this decline. There are a couple things we could all do right now to help zebras and all animals. First, learn about conservation efforts. As I always say, education is the key when helping animals, because the more you know, the more you can help. Another thing you can do right now is spread the word. Be an advocate for zebras. Tell their story to your friends, family, or on social media. By spreading the word, we can reach more people who can help. Because remember, it is up to us, the future generation, to make sure they have a place to live. Let's always work together to make sure animals and humans live in harmony. Let's always be kind and respectful to every animal on this planet. And now it's question time. Kaya, are you as excited as I am to put the knowledge we learned today to the test? I sure am. True or false? No two zebras have the same stripe pattern. The correct answer is true. A zebra's stripes are like human fingerprints, all unique. What do researchers believe are the reasons for the zebra's black and white stripes? Is it A, to control the zebra's body temperature? B, to confuse predators and biting insects? C, to help tell each zebra apart? Or D, all of the above? The correct answer is D, all of the above. What is a baby zebra called? Is it A, a cub? B, a kit? C, a fowl? Or D, a pup? The correct answer is C, a fowl. Well, you guys certainly earned your stripes today. Kai and I have to go, but we will be learning fun facts about another animal next week. See you next time on Wildlife Crystal. Bye. Bye, guys. Toodles. See you next week. Bye.